Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to upgrade from Windows 11 version 24H2 to version 25H2 early through the release preview channel. So the next feature update for Windows 11 is already out, but it's only available as preview. We're expecting this new version to be available sometime in October. And even though this is the final version, Microsoft is still testing it. So it might include some bugs and other issues. Also, even though this is a non-destructive process, it is highly recommended to create a full backup before proceeding in case you need to roll back if something happens. Okay, let's dive into the steps. Okay, first open Start and look for Settings. Then go to Windows Update. Then go to Windows Insider Program. In here, click the Get Started button. Click the Link and Account button. Select your Microsoft account and click Continue. Now in here, Select the Release Preview option. Click Continue. Click Continue and click the Restart Now button. Now, again, open Start and look for Settings. Then go to Windows Update. Turn on the option Get the Latest Updates as soon as they are available. And then click the Check for Updates button. This is to make sure that we have the latest update for version 24H2. Now the system is going to download the latest updates available and this will require a restart and then we're going to have to check for updates again in order to see the option to upgrade to version 25H2. At this particular time, this is the latest app that your computer will download and it can take some time. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that if you have Windows 11 version 23H2, you can still use the same steps to upgrade to version 25H2. However, the computer will first upgrade to version 24H2, and then you will see the enabling package for version 25H2. So technically, there is no like a direct path from 23H2 to 25H2. You have to go through 24H2. Now just click the restart button to apply the latest changes for version 24H2. And now we can proceed with the upgrade to version 25H2 from 24H2. And to do that, just open Start, look for Settings. Now let's go to Windows Update and just click the Check for Updates button. Make sure that you have this option turned on. And then after a few moments, you will see the option to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2. And in here, the only thing you have to do is just to click the Download and Install button. This might take a few minutes, and then you will have to restart the computer to complete the process. One thing to point out is that when you click the Download button, it might look like it's a stock on 0%, but it's just for a moment. Then the computer will actually download the package, and then it will just install. And finally, we just need to click the Restart Now button to complete, to complete the upgrade. And that's it. You just completed the upgrade from version 24H2 to version 25H2. We can check by going to Start and look for Settings. And then if we go to System, About, we can confirm under Windows Specifications that the version 25H2. You just upgraded using the release preview channel. So what happens once the feature update is actually out? Well, one thing you can do is immediately after upgrading to the latest version, you need to change the Windows Insider Program settings to gratefully opt out of the program. And to do that from the settings app, just go to Windows Update and then click on Windows Insider Program and then click on Stop getting preview bills setting and in here you just need to enable the unenroll feature so when you do this your computer will continue to get updates from 
the Windows Insider program. However, when version 25H2 releases to everyone, the computer will be unenrolled from the program, but your installation will be able to receive updates from the stable channel. So you don't need to reinstall anything you can keep the same installation. And that's because at the time that the new version releases, the code on the stable channel and the code in the release preview channels will be the same. So you have to do this immediately after upgrading to the new version of the operating system. And that's it. Now you have successfully upgraded from version 24H2 to 25H2 using the latest preview available through the release preview channel. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to upgrade early to this new version of the operating system. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.